Veterans of Reddit, what is the most embarrassing thing that you witnessed, or that happened to you, during basic training, possibly NSW? We were in the showers and our bulldog, Minus DI, told us to wash our butt cracks and nuts, then he told us to wash our neighbor's face. I was lucky enough to be towards the back so my partner and I just hover handed over each other's faces. I also saw a kid crapping his pants during the run for a physical fitness test, PFT. He was trailing crap down the track. If Reddit and all the basic stories are indicators, everyone but me is always crapping themselves. Always. All the time. Everywhere. I've shared this before but it's what got me thinking about this in the first place. I was in basic training in the navy and we were coming back from the pools where we just had our swim quals. For some reason, I didn't take a pee back in the locker room at the pool house when I had a chance. I needed to go. But I didn't think about it until we were standing in formation and had started marching. And to be honest, I wasn't that concerned because I'm a grown man and I can hold my pee. So we're marching and the urge is climbing rapidly. I was having to concentrate all of my energy on holding back my pee. It was some of the most intense discomfort I've ever been in. I was aware of my urethra muscles and they were vibrating because I was clenching them so hard. It was the worst when we stopped marching and stood still. My entire pelvis would start shaking and I was literally flexing every muscle in my body in an attempt to keep from pee myself. As we marched along we came across another division marching the opposite way and chief stopped us and started bullshitting with the other chief. At this point I was literally going to pee myself and so I blurted out chief. What he seemed legitimately surprised that someone just called out to him in formation. I've got to go to the bathroom. I don't think I can hold it any longer. He looked back at me with this kind of embarrassed, disappointed look. It was so much worse than if he had just screamed and made me do 8 count bodybuilders or whatever. He says, alright son, we'll be there in a minute. Him calling me son like that just, I don't know. It's hard to explain but in that environment, doing something that elicits genuine pity from a superior just feels like the biggest freaking fail on earth. It's one of those moments I relive and think why didn't I just keep my freaking mouth shut I guess I was just legitimately panicking. We started marching again and somehow I was able to hold back the torrent. When we got back to the barracks I enjoyed the best. P. Ever. My father was in the coast guard in the 1960s. My dad and his buddy got into no end of trouble. They had these open bathrooms. No stalls just toilets and he and his friend ended up cleaning them. A lot. The story, as it was relayed to me, is that they were going to have some kind of inspection. Right beforehand, my father took a chocolate bar and smeared a big chunk of it on the bottom of the absolutely clean and sterile bowl, since they had just spent all night cleaning it. The inspecting officer, of course, notices this and says what is that and I am told my father looked down, wiped his finger through it, licked it off and stood at attention, then shouted crap. Sir. While I was in boot at Great Lakes, USN, back in October 2001, I had three situations that will stick with me forever. One while we were standing at attention during week one or two, my shipmate recruit hand was feeling ill that morning and requested to be sick. Sick in quarters. Our petty officer, P.O. Harmon, didn't take him seriously, as he was a constant thorn in our division side. While P.O. Harmon and Mull were making their walk down the row of our racks, Hand looked over to me and said Gerber, my nickname due to being the division's baby face. I don't feel so goo. Arg and he proceeded to throw up all over himself, and down my entire right side. Being the petrified 17 year old recruit that I was didn't break attention. Until I was relieved by P.O. Harmon, who later told me he admired my composure. 2. Whenever someone of high rank enters the base in Great Lakes, they sound the guns. By guns I do not mean a standard issue firearm, I mean the 7 inch guns that sound like a tank gun. This was a real turning point for realizing how different my upbringing was being from small town Minnesota and Wisconsin my whole life. From those who grew up in an urban environment. When the guns were fired it startled everyone for obvious reasons. Causing everyone to break from attention. I jumped. But growing up around guns my whole life it wasn't too dramatic for me. The guys in our division from the hood. All dropped to the ground. A shocking realization to me that these guys were used to be shot at growing up. 
3 and finally, as I mentioned I was in basic starting in October 2001. In basic you aren't allowed to have any material that may be considered sexually appealing. Like pictures of your sig other or any other female male that would be arousing to someone who isn't seeing the flesh of the opposite sex for the next 3 months. Well there was a hidden compartment, in our shitters above the third stall, in the wall. Excited at the thought that there was contraband that our brother division told us about, in the fap stall I went there one day to see what they were talking about. So later that night I was on watch and made my way to the head. I moved the false part of the wall over and reached into down into the cinder block wall to find a magazine. The magazine was the time issue about the 11th of September attacks, patriotic win, on the placer's behalf. Epic fail on the fap front. The magazine was the time issue about the 11th of September attacks. Eyes narrow. Challenge accepted. I had a very active sex life before basic, and then suddenly nothing. Two weeks into basic, I got a discharge as an urinary discharge. Told my DR about it and he sent me to the medic. The medic did a painful swab and they determined it was not an STD but a bad urinary tract infection. They sent me to a brand new army doctor who saw me and prescribed an antibiotic and regular masturbation. Yup, masturbation. In basic training, if you get sick or injured to the point where the DI needs to know about it, they used to pin this bright pink card to your chest that explained what you could and couldn't do. This card would normally say things like no PT for 2 weeks but mine said something like must masturbate daily for 2 weeks and said I was to be given 20 minutes for therapy. All day, drill instructors would constantly walk up to me and make me stand at attention and read the card, and then they would always be like, WTF. Funny part about this, I never really saw it as embarrassing. I thought it was awesome, because I played it up instead of hiding it, my squad mates were all jealous. Oh, and last but not least, the army paid me to jack off, TLDR, got a UT in basic and a new doctor gave me a doctor's note to jack off. Walk that yo-yo, boy, sorry, couldn't resist it. MCRD San Diego, Marine Corps, in the mornings you have about 30 seconds to use the head. Everyone is standing on line, at attention, and the DI screams, first squad, attack the head we scream, attack the head, I I, sir and run yelling kill into the head, bathroom, he immediately starts counting down from 30 and there are at least 3 people to each urinal trying to squeeze out as much pee as possible and get back on line in front of the racks, one kid decided he absolutely had to crap, so he ran straight for a toilet and started blasting. Time ran out and the poor guy wasn't done. The DI went and grabbed him off the toilet and threw him out of the head, with crap still falling out of his butt. Two others ran up and started screaming at him as he stood there, crap running down his legs, shorts around his ankles, crying. Soon after I was on the quarterdeck getting my butt beat for laughing, but it was worth it. Bonus. While up at Camp Pendleton for the weapons and field portion of boot camp, we did the crucible. It was freezing cold and we got woken up in the middle of the night to move. They made us hygiene. This consisted of getting completely naked and pouring our canteen over our heads. Picture a huge group of wet, naked men trying to huddle together for warmth as the DI screamed and called us pussies. This idiot brought condoms with her to BCT. The ridicule never stopped. It was painful to watch. She cried. A lot. She ended up recycling. Best thing I saw was the element leaders who thought that it would be a good idea to heat up their irons and brand each other in the latrine. The TIs were less than pleased. Saw one of the guys in my flight call his mom a freaking bee during our initial phone call home right after arriving at basic. This led to a 30 plus minute tirade by every TI in the area on this guy. They then made him call her back and beg for forgiveness for at least 10 minutes. It finally ended when he started crying. Also got woken up at 3 or 4am by our brother flights TI who made me and my bunkmate get in push up position for what seemed like a hour while he regaled us with a freaky butt story about the antics of a mystical dust bunny and a family of pencils. That somehow made it under our beds, all of this was done while he whispered the story in our ears. Oh, almost forgot, 
The same T I love to sit on one of the beds at the front of the bay with a laser pointer and make one of the guys crawl back and forth chasing it on his hands and knees. Also had one of the guys on our trash detail get caught fricking a member of our sister flight in the dumpster. Almost forgot. One of the guys in our flight crap himself during the the final PT test run. As he crossed the line he told the TI and they held his arm over his head like he had just won a boxing match and paraded him around in front of the entire squadron because rather that let a little thing imminent but explosion stop him he bucked up and finished. That's all I can remember now. Yuzahakin told a similar story about a dumpster. I was really skinny going into boot camp so I was designated as a double rations recruit. That meant I was first in line to eat and got to eat seconds. Twice. Our platoon went out to the rifle range for the week and that meant that we got to eat at a different chow hall. For whatever reason the drill instructors weren't watching us like a hawk as usual and when I got up to get my second serving. About 10 other guys who weren't double rats followed me and got seconds also. Apparently another recruit dimed us out to the drill instructors when we got back to the squad bay. We were standing at attention with the DI screaming and asking us who got second rations. I stepped forward along with about 5 other guys. As soon as I stepped forward my squad leader told me to step back. I'm so freaking glad I did. The guys who took second rations were told to grab their canteens and fill them up with water. They were told to drink, then fill them back up. They were ordered to drink and refill until they puked back up their food and about a gallon of water. After the guys puked they were told to clean it up but the catch was that they had to clean it up by rolling through it and soaking it up into their sweatpants and sweatshirts. Then, we all had to do push ups. TL. DR. Guys took too much food, had to give it back the hard way. My favorite moments. Guy pee his pants. Too scared to ask to use the head. Won the coveted Peabody award. We had a guy in our company with the last name schmuck. The DIs had a field day with that kid. Second week and I'm on fire watch. Company commander Colbert came on deck. Announce his presence as company commander Colbert. Like Stephen Colbert. He asks me. What am I freaking French? I scream back. Sir. No sir. He comes back with, oh really? How the frick would you know? All heck breaks loose. Flanked by DIs. It's 3am. I still laugh about it. Sir. Maybe sir. <laughs> Saw a few people pee crap themselves usually when they were sick. I crap myself. I was sick. Saw many dudes cry whether it was from being yelled at or when we finally got to phone our family or friends towards the end of it. Um. I got punched in the balls and blacked out. I'm sure that would have been embarrassing in any other situation but I didn't care because my balls hurt. Okay, FTX on the third day at Fort Leonardwood, Missouri. One of the head drill sergeants is from one of the other classes and is running around going crazy tormenting the soldiers with threats of CS gas. As he is running around this day, he has a CS canister on a stick and people are running like crazy. Next thing I know we see him fly in the air from tripping over Iraq. Lands flat on his face and his troops start laughing. He gets up all angry and just starts running after anyone he can see. He sees one of the guys that was laughing run into the portagen. Grabs the door, opens and throws the CS gas and then holds it there for almost 2 minutes. LT in charge of the company just walks by and says yup. Soldiers nowadays are so insubordinate. Funniest moment I have ever bore witness to. We were out on our final field exercise and everyone was cranky, hot, and tired. As evening progressed, suddenly we had about 15 soldiers start vomiting and having massive fevers. They all got taken off the duty rosters and sent to the hospital. The rest of us got stuck pulling double duties. The next morning the drill sergeants start screaming at us. Apparently all 15 soldiers had gotten dysentery and were going to be hospitalized for at least a week. We were smoked for hours as they accused us of being dirty and washed bastards. After the smoke session, they did a health and welfare inspection to see who wasn't living up to the field hygiene standards. That's when one of them held up a canteen out of one of the soldiers bags. Why is there crap on your canteen soldier he said while holding up a canteen covered in crap. The female soldier started freaking out and stuttering. Apparently she had dropped it in the porta potty and reached in to get it out. She hadn't had time to clean it properly because she had lunch duty. The drill sergeant just kinda stared at her. He dropped the canteen on her rucksack, 
told her to gather her belongings and meet him at drill sergeant's tent. Needless to say, the rest of us felt sick for the rest of the field exercise when we realized she had touched crap, then served us food. We never saw that soldier again, and I hope the army chaptered her for lacking any common sense. TL. DR. We literally ate a crap sandwich. There was an annoying guy when I was in basic. Barely passed the ass vab but talked like he was the best and brightest there was and tried to act like he was in charge when none of our POs were around. I ended up getting out on a hardship discharge, but made sure to send him a cur package of lube, and some playgirl magazines with a note that said I don't mind if you need to use these, just make sure I'm the one you still want when you get back home. He had to open the package in front of everyone, and from what I heard, was never able to give anyone any crap after that embarrassing moment. Sucker had it coming to him. I messed my ankle up pretty bad at MCRD San Diego. I know I know I'm a little B. They couldn't do the surgery to fix it in depot so ideas sent to RSP to process out. While there another recruit was showing off a picture of the girl he had waiting back home for him. As he passed it around one guy grabs the picture looks the dude right in the eye. And just starts beating off in the middle of the squad bay to the picture. It was hilarious and nasty at the same time. I have a few. I was a drill sergeant. A guy is put into a squat with his back against a wall while holding his rifle overhead for about a minute. When let to stand, his legs given up. He collapses and pees on himself. I inspect recruits before entering the mess hall. I yell at one of them for something, and he passes out in front of me. A high level inspection walks through the mess hall, and they see a recruit not eating. They ask him if there is anything wrong with the food, and he says that he can't eat because sergeant looked at him. Oh lord, I got into trouble all the time for talking. One time, in an effort to avoid this I felt around to see if anyone knew sign language. It turns out, yup, someone sure did. My tattletale yeoman told our chief that a shipmate and I were conversing in sign in a mess. I, a female was yanked out of bed around 2am and taken to the boys division room one floor down in my navy nighttime attire. The boys were awakened and forced to stand next to their bunks while I did 8 counts for over an hour. I was mortified at first, but by the end the looks of understanding from my mates made me feel a whole lot better. One of the guys in my basic rotation had to pee on a ruck march. When it's early August in Kentucky, you have to drink a lot of water, and you're not going to sweat it all out. He had done this before, just whipped it out and sidestepped a few yards, but I guess he thought that was too difficult, and in his defense, I find it difficult to take a pee in a urinal while wearing body armor, let alone while walking and with a rucksack on your back. So he took a canteen out of a pouch, unscrewed the lid, and filled it. Of course, someone told a drill sergeant, and needless to say that private had learned to use a bathroom before we set out in the morning. Guy in my platoon from Alaska was overheard by a drill sergeant talking about how much he couldn't wait to get back to Anchorage and get baked. This was, I believe week 6 of 8 in basic. Naturally, they flipped out and turned his life into living heck for two days pretending he had to start basic all over again by having him pack up his crap while they did their yelling thing and then he spent two days in a new basic training company that had just started before bringing him back. It was embarrassing because he cried like a little kid. TL. DR. Dude gets over her talking about getting high after basic is over. Gets trolled for two days by drill sergeants. Cries like a toddler. Accidentally fired a blank into a charging barrel while clearing my weapon. The drill sergeants tore me a new one. Never made that mistake again though. Honorable mention to getting hit so hard with an upwards swing of a pugil stick that my helmet came flying off. Those pugil sticks were fun. I was matched against someone similar in size and with the masks on it didn't hurt much, because neither of us could get a great blow in on each other. You talk about getting tired though. A 110 pound female could have whipped us both by the end of 5 minutes. My first time on a firing range in basic I didn't know I wasn't supposed to stand at parade rest while talking to the drill sergeant on a range. Well while trying to mount my rifle on my shoulder for parade rest I accidentally flagged him with the barrel of the weapon. He immediately corrected me, telling me if I ever flag him again he will personally shove the barrel up my butt. Out of the corner of my eye I see another big black DS charging for me, grabs me, 
slams me into a sign and proceeds to also tell me if I flag his battle buddy again he will knock me out faster than I'll be able to gun him down. After the catastrophe I turned around to see my entire platoon cracking up. I was a ship staff yeoman when I was in boat, navy, and was in charge of taking problem recruits to whatever that office is there that's in charge of sending those recruits either home, or back to the beginning for being a frick ups. I had to sit with them until they were called in, but it was just awfully embarrassing for me, and I'm guessing them to go through this. Pretty vanilla stuff, you know how basic it is, pretty much no women anywhere, and an environment that's not the most conducive to fapping. Well, a fella I met there was talking to me about how he would just do it at night, while lying in his bunk, and not clean up afterwards. He'd just ejaculate over his stomach and wash it off in the morning. Jesus, dude, nothing much other than that. Well, one guy did get drummed out on his first day, after slipping while rushing down a flight of stairs and cracking his wrist open. Does that count as embarrassing? Personal story here. I went to Air Force Basic in 2004. Some backstory, I didn't have previous recorded knowledge of it but I have a medical condition called Fabry's disease that causes pretty severe heat intolerance and an inability to sweat. I didn't really know how bad it was because I've always been an indoors person but I needed to get out of my parents house so I made the decision to join up. It gets pretty hot in Texas in the summer, so I'm experiencing heat exhaustion nearly every single day and being sent to sick call every other day. Drink more water. Yep. Anyway, after passing out in full chem gear during warrior week, air force basic outdoor training and such, they put me in admin hold for a month and discharged me for medical reasons. They called me sickly boy in my first flight and I got recycled to a second flight for being unable to pass the physical requirements to move into warrior week. Only the run. Past the other parts. Nothing quite like being called a liar repeatedly for a legit medical illness. Pretty embarrassing. One of my best friend's friend growing up enlisted a few years before me and ended up as a grunt in Ranger's second bat. He told me a story about one night when his platoon had raided a compound in Iraq that was supposed to be housing a high profile militia leader. The infiltration went as planned. They caught the occupants by surprise and there was very little resistance. During the initial clearing my buddy and his team came across a room filled with women and young children and my buddy was assigned to guard them while the rest of the rooms were checked. He tried to be as kind as possible since naturally they were all scared shitless but there was little he could do to console them given the language barrier and the circumstance of his being there. As the women wept, clutching their children tight, my buddy took a knee to try to appear less menacing. A tactic that may very well have worked if the crotch of his DCUs hadn't chosen that very moment to come and stitched, exposing his dangling American balls to a room full of hysterical captives. We had this kid who was probably the dumbest person I've ever met. Everything he could frick up he did. He got kicked off of every range we went to for one reason or another. Anyways, we were all up in the bay after training waiting to go to chow. Now this kid had this weird patch on his head where no hair would grow and we asked him about it and he said he couldn't remember how he got it. It was a decent size, about the size of an egg. This kid also believed in alien abduction and experimentation. So vetting a bunch of bored privates we decided to frick with him. We told him he probably got the spot after being abducted and that now that he was in the military he was a threat to national security. We said he should report this to the DS right away so he can talk to the Department of National Security or some bulls. This kid immediately went to the DS office with a battle buddy and relayed all this information to the SDS. He was completely serious. Suddenly we hear what the frick private. Are you fricking serious and private Dumbass answers loud and proud yes DS. I believe I'm a risk to national security. Get the frick down and push you stupid mother SDS comes into the bay we call at ease but are all trying to stifle the laughs. Toe the fricking line privates everyone gets on line at attention. Who sent that fuck to, to me two privates raise their hands. SDS walks over to them and just sits there for a second. That's some good crap privates. But if that private so much as looks at me again, I will skull frick you and the rest of the platoon until your head split open. Is that understood? Yes SDS needless to say we kept that stupid frick hidden for the remainder of the cycle. Later that night when our other DS came in for CQ we could hear them laughing their asses off. Good times. TLDR. Convinced a private to tell the DS he had been abducted by aliens. 
Navy basic training in Orlando, way back when. We'd had late lights out and early revali and I'd had a fire watch, being awake and wandering around the compartment, so I was extremely tired. We were in class the next morning. I don't know how they do it anymore, but back then we had workbooks to fill out during lectures and mechanical pencils with which to do the filling out. I was sitting in the back and struggling to stay awake. At one point, I lost the battle. My head dropped forward and the tip of the pencil went about halfway up my nose before I jerked back up. I was an inch or two from dying, and I can't imagine a more embarrassing way to go. TLDR. Almost skewered my brain in basic deck seamanship class. Wow I actually cringed at this. I can't even imagine that pain. Passing out laundry. Learning who had. I. Maps of Texas on their undershorts. All clothing was name stenciled. So. Crap stories. 1. One solider took the loudest freaking shoots. Every time he would push one out, there would be 10 straight seconds of high pitched farting rumbling. He would do this every time he took a crap. And of course it would happen several times during one sitting. We nicknamed him Chewy for Chewbacca because it sort of sounded like the way the character did. Eventually, anytime anyone would see Chewy head for the barracks latrine, there would be a resounding, hey everyone, Chewy is about to take a crap and we would all run in and crowd around his stall waiting for the hilarious sounds to start. He wasn't pee either, he would let it rip loud and proud. Now that I'm writing this out, it sounds so freaking strange. Not much to do during downtime during basic, I guess. I remember it was a big disappointment when everyone would follow him in, and it turned out out he was just taking a pee. 2. We paid this one Mormon guy to eat animal crap we found in the wild. We just finished some training, and were sitting around in the woods waiting for the rest to finish. We got a few bucks each from about 15 different soldiers for a pot of a little over $100. We tried to convince a different soldier to do it, but he refused. Suddenly, this elder Mormon soldier just drops in and says, You pee. I'll eat that crap for money. We show him the cash, and without hesitating one bit, he just picks up this ping pong sized poo and shoves it in his mouth. Chews it up and then smiles to show us his teeth. It was one of the most disgusting things I have ever seen. Mushy random animal crap stuck between his teeth, and all backups in his gums. Ugh. Later, I asked if he regretted it, and without an ounce of emotion he just said, yes, and then went about his work. I'm not a vet myself, but a military brat. Parents were both marines, and I was born in Camp Lejeune, so I hope I am qualified to tell this one. A guy in my old man's platoon was just absolutely sick and tired of being there, and desperately wanted to go home. So, he did what any rational jarhead would do, and stuck his left index finger in the barrel of his M16 and pulled the trigger, forcefully divorcing that miserable digit from his hand. After a stint in the hospital, he was up for review. It was decided that because the dumbass was right handed and had blown off his left index finger, and thus could still fire his rifle, he was to remain in the core. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.